has performed at the Blue Note in New York City. He has performed on tour in Europe with George Benson. These days, you can find him spending his time at piano, teaching and composing more often than performing at the Masonic Hall and in his own studio here in Hopkinton. I'm talking about Chaim Pickles, and we are here in his studio today to get to know more about his work and his life. Hello, Chaim. Thank you for having us here today in your working studio in Hopkinton. Very welcome. About 14 years ago, I personally heard about a great teacher of piano who had arrived in our town of Hopkinton um, when looking for a piano teacher myself with really uh, an exciting reputation of being able to connect with students of all ages and to get them creative, creatively sparked, I'd say, and very excited about playing the piano. And that turns out to be you. And Very kind of you. Uh, you continue to be a very um, admired teacher in our town, and there's more to you. Uh, you are a composer, and you are also a performer uh, in yes. playing piano and keyboard, as well as highly respected teacher. Thank you, and sir. so here we are, uh, and we get to sample a little bit of your day and night dedicated to the art of music and community, really. And I just wanted to start off with the question, which is very big in a way, but just curious what you have to say. Why is music important for our civilization? Well, I think um, uh, music is, is uh, part of, of uh, uh, our, our being um, from the very beginning of time. Um, I'm not a music historian mm -hmm. and, and uh, have not followed necessarily uh, human uh, evolution uh, as, as it relates to music. But I think that uh, music is uh, such an uh, integral part of our mm. uh, being that uh, we can hardly question it. The only thing that, that we can, uh, I think, affect or, uh, or change is our likings and dislikings. Mm. But music is part of our soul, mm -hmm. uh, whatever soul means, mm -hmm. uh, in, in um, I think a healthy mind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. should have to include layers of, of uh, musical experience throughout mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we can change this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I often respond to to uh, students, to parents that, um, that are concerned with uh, sort of uh, uh, making, forcing their kids yeah. to, to engage in music just because they, they believe it is. They, their concern is that um, kids are going to uh, hate or not like music because mm -hmm. of this. And my response uh, to, to all parents, all concerns of this nature, is that uh, you cannot have it. You don't have the power to change this. You cannot have anybody hate music. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. no, it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm very confident, <laughs> you know, with this. It's a very uh, wide open question. Yeah, I know it is. Um, and that but, is a great answer uh, to it uh, in starting off. Thank you. It's all, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, my experience that it allowed me to go a little deeper yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and, to, and to find out um, about how people respond to music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so it's an incredible experience mm -hmm. to watch people, uh, different age groups. Mm -hmm different levels with uh, 
uh, for example, I'm, I'm still fascinated with how um, all students, again at all ages and levels, are responding in, in a sort of an involuntary kind of a, a reaction to music. Mm -hmm. uh, the smile, a, cer a certain smile uh, that indicates, that comes from in within, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. they, it's not something they control necessarily. Yeah. Uh, and that, that's an incredible uh, scene to watch, mm, mm. you know, uh, when I present different pieces of music or new styles. Mm -hmm. um, I see this often yeah. and that it never ceases to amaze me and that it, it's di it directly connects to, to the uh, concept of, of how music is integrated in our soul. Mm -hmm. That we can hardly have it. We can only affect, really, what styles we would prefer, mm -hmm. you know, to engage, to Well, listen. I think that is a deep and uh, vivid and important way of answering that question. I, I think uh, in our civilization, sometimes we can take music for granted. But that is interesting that you say that you can't imagine someone hating music because it is part of our deeper self Absolutely. that we react to. So. Absolutely. So thank you for taking that question on first. Uh, that's wonderful. <laughs> so now maybe a little uh, more manageable question in some ways. Um, and so I'm curious knowing that you, in your past, you spent time, uh, you grew up in Israel. Yes. You, as a, a musician, as a pianist, you went um, in Europe and you traveled with George Benson and his band. And perhaps you've been to other parts of the world I don't know about too, but, uh, and here you are in Hopkinton. Um, so uh, what, your, what brought you all the way over here uh, yes. to the town of Hopkinton? Um. Obviously, um, it's, it's a long story mm. of many years of, of experience. Um, I would try to encapsulate this in a, in a very short mm -hmm. yes. a uh -huh. synopsis, if you would. Um, I came here to Berkeley, mm. Berkeley mm -hmm. College of Music. A great college. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, around uh, uh, 79. Mm -hmm. 1979, and um, and so that was the, the uh, sheer purpose of, of uh, coming from Israel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the time it was um, um, quite a novelty, it was a daring step to yeah. take. Mm -hmm. It was not as, as, uh, as an easy financially. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then it was not something that one would do. You don't just leave and go across, you know, uh, uh, leave your country. Mm -hmm. um, but f for me, there was never any doubt that this is the path. I knew mm -hmm. this some years before, mm -hmm. uh, growing up as a teenager and, and uh, uh, heavily involved in, in piano and mm -hmm. immersed in, in all, all kinds of music, you know, classical and jazz. And there was never any doubt as to where I would be headed. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so um, there was a, a certain step that I was going to take. Mm -hmm. Right after I left the uh, army, in Israel you have to serve. Mm -hmm. Three years. Three years, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I spent some time preparing and, and left for uh, the U.S. And, mm -hmm. um, and things evolved beautifully mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. from that point. It, it was a, literally a, a dream come true mm -hmm. in every which way. Mm -hmm. You just had to put your faith in that path, uh, yes. which was a long one from yes. starting and out in Israel. Yes, and, mm -hmm. I, and I knew that it's going to be mm -hmm. um, 
a long road ahead and, and completely embraced mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this path and with everything that, that would have come my way. Mm -hmm. There was never any doubt. So when you, when you engage in, 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 you know, in this, uh, at this level, you know, with with a purpose, a goal in life, um, the chances are you're going to do well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and um, and it, everything that I thought of Berkeley uh, uh, at the time, and and then the the whole environment of what what was here in the U.S. to to explore musically, mm -hmm. everything came true mm -hmm. uh, for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, a relatively well known in Israel mm -hmm. doing what I did. I'm not surprised Playing, knowing yeah, your music, yeah. yes. But mm -hmm. um, the, the uh, most incredible thing that happened here uh, in the first minute is that um, I met many, many others like me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. instantly that was that was shocking mm -hmm. so there was no longer any advantage to me mm -hmm. uh, of you know having had my success um, it was just uh, a beginning yeah a wonderful beginning mm -hmm. mm. well that's uh, a good way yes. to put it and a, uh, and a wonderful, solid competition mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all the time. And it's clear that your driven nature, coming from Israel over to Boston, uh, sent you in, in a good, excellent uh, path Absolutely. here. And you were in Boston, Brookline, from what I understand you came yes. from, and then over to Hopkinton. Uh, Yes, we yeah. lived for many years in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps from the time that I was a student at Berkeley, yeah. and then my wife Leah. Mm -hmm. You met in, uh, at in Berkeley. In, we no, we met in Israel. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then Leah came here to visit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and stayed here mm -hmm. for oh. good. Mm -hmm. So you were married as you were a student. Um, Right after I graduated. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then settled in Brookline? In Brookline, that's right. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. that was where our, my, my um, initial apartment was. All right. Mm -hmm. and, and then we, we stayed in Brookline, different places, and mm -hmm. had my, our, our children. Children arrived shortly after? Um, let's see, some calculations. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, probably two or three years. Uh huh. After you finished school? After, after we, we got married. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something like that. All right. And they're in their 20s now. Yeah, and my son is 25 and my daughter is 21. Uh-huh. And they're on their own paths, um, they just are, like we're talking yes. about with you. Uh, yes, everyone go, went in a different direction mm -hmm. completely. Um, yeah. All love music. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, all right, so back to, back to Hopkinton. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, um, that's uh, where we're at. Uh, so here you are, and um, you came from Brookline, and probably different kinds of uh, community experience uh, in both places, a little more urban in Brookline, and more out here near the, the park and converse, conservation land of Hopkinton, more rural. Yes, uh -huh. it, it was different. And you brought something amazing <laughs> over here to our, the, you know, our mutual small town. Thank uh, you. Uh, in terms of music and the love of music. Uh, it was um, a very, um, an instant, an instant uh, love for me. Mm -hmm. uh, once I, I arrived in Hawkington, mm -hmm. um, there was a a very funny story how I, uh, a friend of Carly Simon mm -hmm. uh, lived here in town and, and she invited me and introduced some students and, um, and asked me if I would and mm -hmm. um, 
And then, um, before I knew it, um, I, I, uh, it, it really, I suppose, word of mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, it took, uh, it took over uh, a significant amount of my time. Mm -hmm. So I, so I commuted between Brookline and Hockington, mm -hmm. uh, having students there and here. Mm. And that can be a lot of uh, commuting back and forth. Commuting back and forth for years. Yeah, especially on those snowy days. For <laughs> years and years. <laughs> mm -hmm. wow. Many years. And, and um, it was obvious mm. uh, to me that, that um, once my, my kids would grow, uh, perhaps to high school, at least one was out of high school, uh, we would make a move. Mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. There was no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it was, uh, for me, it was business as usual. Mm -hmm. Because I, I commuted here, I, you know, work here has been uh, wonderful. Yeah. Ever since. Mm -hmm. Ever since. Well, um, I would imagine uh, Hopkinton is a bit different than living in Israel uh, there. Uh, wonder what... Uh, what uh, oh, I have yes. a lot of questions for you and the time is flying by already, but what did you love living about and living in Israel? What did you love there? And then coming um, over here, what do you love about living in the Hopkinton area? Um, I, uh, in Israel, you see, uh, I was born there, so um, the, my my childhood was not nothing unusual yeah. mm -hmm. in that way. Um, life in in the city, basically, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and then um, life evolved um, in a significant way once I landed here mm -hmm. in New York, mm -hmm. um, and then. And then the questions, uh, uh, and then and then the uh, uh, differences between different towns here, yeah. um, perhaps reminded me some of of the urban life in Israel. Mm -hmm. Say yeah. when when I lived in Brookline, Boston, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. for for quite some time, um, there was something magical uh, in the town of Hockington. This is not something that can always. Um, be explained. Mm, magical is a nice word. Uh, yes, it is. It was magical yeah. mm -hmm. uh, because I cannot explain, fully explain. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose it's the people mm -hmm. that that uh, uh, were responsible to are responsible mm -hmm. to to uh, the uh, development of such a yeah. beautiful place and and, and a, a community. Uh, and you have been like the Pied Piper of piano, I think, in <laughs> arriving here and drawing a lot of when people I arrived loving here, music. Mm. When I arrived here, uh, uh, there was not much. Mm -hmm. Not much in not terms much of... Not much going on in terms of uh, activity mm -hmm. regarding uh, performances, mm -hmm. piano. Mm -hmm. or, um, but there was a huge desire to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and that was that was the magic mm -hmm. that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, hunger. Yeah, it was there waiting for um, you. The hunger, uh, the curiosity, mm -hmm. um, and 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 just, I suppose, pure chemistry between people mm -hmm. yeah. uh, would have had to 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 have been the, the what I thought. What I think yeah. to be a wonderful success story for me. Mm -hmm. And oh, how the students of all ages light on fire in a way when you have the recitals. I, I can attest to that, and they're very exciting. And I think the the whole town uh, yeah. kind of resonates um, uh, with that. But we only have a little bit more time, and there's so much please, more to talk yes, about yes. now in terms of your your work. Um, uh, very maybe in a sentence or two. What what got you so driven and committed to music and specifically to piano and keyboard? 
Um, there was no, uh, there's no particular uh, event or, yeah. or any any moment that I I remember mm. that that I can point out and say, well, life has begun. Mm -hmm. My music life has begun since mm -hmm. then. Um, but um, um, it's a. Um, this is, this is a, a, a part of a, a very. Uh, a, uh, it's an uncertain field uh, of why some are hooked up, you know, on, on music in a certain way, whereas opposed to others that are not. It's a it's a combination mm -hmm. uh, of of um, layers. Mm -hmm. Over uh, your life, over then. over a lifetime, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, some obvious um, uh, uh, moments of, uh, say, encouragement mm -hmm. yeah. by uh, by parents. Mm -hmm. My parents encouraged me uh, from very early on, mm -hmm. uh, and and um, uh, on to to uh, you know society. Mm -hmm. That that uh, appreciated what I have done musically yes. and and caused this this very uh, important uh, cycle. Yes, you have. Um, From what I understand, you were you spent many hours on practice. Yes, of yes. What, um, your I work used, as piano. Absolutely, um, um, untold amount. Yeah. Untold uh -huh. number of hours, especially when I was towards graduation from Berkeley, mm -hmm. uh, where I had um, a teacher, mm -hmm. uh, one and only teacher, a mentor, that, def and that affected my life ah. significantly. And who is His that? His name was Charlie Banacus. Ah, okay. Charlie Banacus uh, was a legendary teacher. Mm. Um, in 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 incredible wow. teacher. Um, I waited two years in line, mm, mm -hmm. and then one morning he called me and said, "Well, I have a time slot, seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh -huh. Take it or leave." Mm. I could, you know, it was a, a long time coming, so seven o'clock was it. You took it. I took it. <laughs> I took it. Uh -huh. uh, it was very weird, you know, to 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 take a piano lesson at 7 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, but that was him. That was the, the vigor and the, and, 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 and the energy that, that mm -hmm. he, he brought in uh, and, and it affected my life wow. in, in more ways that I can probably understand. Mm. Uh, I have to say, and uh, forgive me for interrupting, I see we only have a few more minutes. Yes. And I have to then make the connection of how uh, it is clear in our town you likewise have been doing that for so many students, uh, hearing by word, uh, witnessing as well legacy, uh, how it moves on that way as not only a, a a piano player, a composer, but a teacher, and how you help to contribute that going on. I was wondering if just in the short time left, uh, we could you, talk sir. a little bit about your work, uh, both in uh, performing piano and in, in your teaching moments, and maybe see a sample of your work. Um, Yes. Let's see. You start. You Indeed. you were performing, and uh, you went on tour with George Benson for many yes. years. I yes. know you told me, and you said there was this uh, issue of uh, stability in life, and traveling everywhere, and having a family that y yes. made you stop. And then you shifted to work composing and teaching. Then yes, I I thought that that uh, the stability uh, in in my life uh, uh, should prevail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, over um, an unstable life of, of perhaps glory, but but yeah. troubling mm -hmm. um, and and um, yeah, uh, a relatively uncertain mm -hmm. future. Yeah. So at a certain point, uh, it becomes uh, very clear uh, that that uh, there is a priority. Uh, that that uh, for other uh, things that, that matter. That yes, mm -hmm. in in within music mm -hmm. and life, mm -hmm. uh, that I should 
uh, reconsider. And you found a way to make it work, and I see that we have one more minute um, left. My goodness, how do we how do we summarize and move on from there? Um, and these days, what are you doing? Um, I have uh, a, a lovely production studio uh, yes, here. It is. It is uh, lovely. Uh, in which I, I compose and produce for uh, commercials, uh, music, commercials, uh, documentaries. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, radio spots, mm -hmm. um, and and um, I uh, teach here as well as mm -hmm. uh, as well as in town, as you know. So a lot goes on here uh, so, in terms yeah. of your art uh, and your your passion, what you have pursued all your life that way. Um, yes. So affecting others in so many ways, sending music out through cars, as well as documentaries, and, yes. and in students of all ages here. Yes, I've written commercials for, for uh, VW, uh, Honda. Well, uh, could we take a uh, look at uh, one of your samples of yes, your commercial? Yes, Amazing work uh, on screen, and I know you're working on a new jazz CD, and yes. you have recitals coming up, and all kinds of ways that your music is going out into the world, as well as being based home um, here in Hopkinton. I, do you have yes. a few words that you'd like to end this interview that's gone by way too fast? Uh, the, the best is yet to come, uh -huh. and to wake up. And next morning, and to look for this best mm -hmm. is um, uh, is uh, would make for for uh, an exciting life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that that is uh, continually based on on curiosity and creativity. Mm -hmm.